Today we're going to make a uh, wet mount of some onion cells. And whenever you're working with microscopes and making your own slides, the very first thing you want to do is make sure your work area is nice and clean. Because, you know, any dust or any dirt uh, can make it harder to see your slides or even ruin the microscope. So I have a nice clean work area now, and the next step is to look at my microscope slide. Um, I want to make sure my slide is nice and clean, it doesn't have any dirt or any water spots on it. And if it's not perfectly clear, I'll just take it to the sink and uh, wash it off with some water and then wipe it with a paper towel. Then I should be good to go. Now that I have a clean microscope, I want to get my onion cells. And the cells we're going to get are from the inside of an onion ring. Right? So if this is, a, this is one of the rings of the onion, you can see some of the cells right here. I left this piece of onion sit out for a couple of days and that makes the whole thing kind of fall apart. We want to use fresher onions than that because the cells look nicer, but it is nice to uh, be able to see what you want. The other thing that we want to do is this piece is going to be way too big. We want a smaller piece, something like this, or maybe even a little smaller. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that I'm using the finding the inside of the uh, onion ring. And then you can just use your fingertips to peel that layer of cells off. Sometimes it might help to use a pair of forceps. Um, or tweezers, but most of the time your fingertips work just great. And once I have a hold of that layer, I'm just going to gently pull it off. Now, you don't necessarily need the whole piece, but you want something about as big as your pinky nail, just so it's nice and easy to see. So now that I got my cells off, I'm going to set them on the microscope slide, being, putting them right about in the middle. If it's not perfectly in the middle, that's okay. And the one thing we do want to do is we tr want to try and get it in one single layer. Um, these cells will want to try and crumple up on you, and if they get crumpled into a ball, it's not a big deal. Just start over. Uh, so once the cells are on the slide, Add a couple drops of water. This is called a wet mount because it uses water to kind of hold everything in place. And one, one, maybe two drops. We don't want to go crazy. Now, to see the genes inside these cells, we need to use the special stain. And the stain we're going to use is called uh, methylene blue. And just like the water, we're going to add one, maybe two drops don't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, just so once the water and stain mix together, we kind of want it to cover everything. So that way the stain gets on all of the all of our onion cells. I'm gonna let that sit on there for maybe 10, 15 seconds, just get giving the stain a chance to get inside the cells and uh, stain our genes. All right, that should be about ready. The next step is to add our cover slip. So just like the microscope slide, we want to make sure our cover slip is nice and clean. And do you notice how I'm holding it by the edges? And if you hold it by the top and bottom, you're going to get thumbprints on it. And uh, the cover slip will end up dirty and it'll be harder to see through. So I always hold microscope slides and cover slips by their edges. The other important thing to remember about cover slips is if you just plop them straight down, you tend to catch a lot of bubbles. And bubbles make it harder to see in the microscope. So what I like to do is I like to put uh, one edge down. And so now the cover slip is at about a 45 degree angle. So the uh, left edge is touching the slide and the right edge is in my fingers and just lo slowly lower it down and watch that water squeeze out all the air. All right and now what I'm doing is I'm taking a look at my microscope slide and I'm trying to see if I have any bubbles and it looks like I have 
a little bubble right in the corner. Water is not filling up the whole thing. So I'm just going to add a drop right to the edge of the cover slip and that water gets sucked right under. 